joining me in the last but one podcast regarding why the church changed from the celebration of Passover, which Yeshua fulfilled, and also which he taught we should uh, celebrate, as did Paul and the other apostles, to the celebration of Easter. For the first hundred years of what we now know as Christendom, the believers in Yeshua being the Passover lamb was simply a sect within Judaism and they worshipped in the synagogues following the appointed times and feasts of God as he instructed us to do. Then pagan influence in the form of anti-Judaic and anti-Semitic Gentile leaders took over from the followers of Yeshua and began to teach falsely that the time of the Jews' spirituality had ended and that the people of the church, as it became known, were the new chosen people. Despite Paul teaching very clearly that the Gentiles who believe in Yeshua were grafted into Israel and became spiritual citizens with Israel, the early church fathers taught that we had replaced Israel. Church fathers such as Marcion removed the Tanakh, the Old Testament, and even removed the genealogy of Yeshua in the book of Matthew to cover up the fact that Yeshua was a Jew. I want to move on from this specific point now. But if you feel you want to know more about this, then you can join with one of our Hidden Treasures courses that we run from Father's House, which teaches in modules uh, the process of replacement theology and its consequences. Back to the subject. During the third and fourth centuries, the Roman emperors persecuted Gentile believers in Yeshua, not simply because they were Christians and were forming what the emperors considered to be a new religion, but because of their keeping of the Sabbath and the feasts, including Passover. Both these two appointed feasts were seen as an example of Judaism, which was opposed vehemently by the emperors, who were also called pontiffs. They were, in fact, in practice, custodians of the pagan worship to the sun and fertility gods and goddesses. They were Babylonian priests, with all that this position entailed, including presiding over the Babylonian worship calendar. So on the 7th of March, 321 AD, when Emperor Constantine addressed the people about enforcing the day of rest for the empire, he stipulated that all offices, public buildings and traders should be closed on the first day of the week, being Sunday in honour of the invincible sun god, Sol Invictus. In 325 AD, Constantine called together all the bishops of the empire to hold an ecumenical council in a city called Nicaea. Constantine instructed the bishops to discuss a number of issues which were important to the future of this new anti-Semitic, anti-Judaic church including the question of what to do about those within the church who were celebrating Passover. The bishops, following the direction of Constantine, issued a decree to all within the empire to make the celebration of Passover punishable by death, replacing it with the celebration of the goddess Ostre at the time of the spring equinox. The two degree decrees regarding Sabbath and Passover enforced a change of worship practice from the biblical times and seasons to the times and seasons of the gods of the empires. They fulfilled Daniel's prophecy, which stated that Satan changes the times and laws of God. That's in Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. The emperors unified Christianity Ostra worship and sun worship into one spiritual movement, which included a worship pattern obligated to the gods of the empire, not the God of Israel. The Roman emperors continued to carry out their authority as Babylonian high priests, stroke pontiff, until 376 AD, 
when an emperor called Gratian refused to take on his this spiritual responsibility. The incumbent bishop of Rome, Damasus, was then elected as supreme pontiff, becoming the Babylonian high priest of the Roman Empire. Damasus had been the bishop of Rome for 12 years when he succeeded Gratian, and when he began to lead as spiritual head of the Roman Empire. Damasus established the Babylonian system of worship, including that of the worship of Ostra, with her symbols of the rabbit and the egg, and of course, all other Babylonian celebrations of the gods. Damasus continued to wear the clothing of the Babylonian priest with all its colours and opulence, and the wearing of the mitre, the hat, in the form of the fish god Dagon. In 381, he introduced the worship of the Queen of Heaven and changed her name to the Virgin Mary. From this time on, the spiritual leadership of the empire became known as the Holy Catholic Church. The establishment of the Babylonian calendar with all its celebrations to the gods was enforced, and many Jews and Gentiles who followed the teachings of Yeshua and the apostles were executed for trying to maintain God's appointed time. This enforcement spread across the empire, reaching the British Isles in the 4th century. The British Isles, however, was divided in its system of calendar of worship, and in particular the celebration of Passover and the seventh day. So we'll leave the podcast at that point, and uh, I want to say uh, thank you for listening to these podcasts, and I hope you're learning something from them. So Shabbat Shalom, Mike Fryer, Wales.